What's up guys, it's Mitch with the SC Weather. I hope y'all had a great holiday weekend. Uh, looks like the weather's gonna get a little interesting this week, so um, I'm gonna dive into that. It looks like the tropics might start to be heating up. We're getting deeper in the hurricane season, guys, so um, things like tropical activity, tropical storms, depressions, things like that. Just hurricane season as a whole is about to really get going here as we get deeper into July, and then we start to really enter August, which is the meat of hurricane season so do me a favor guys if you are watching hit the subscribe button I appreciate it it's just a way to support me and to help me reach my personal goals it'd be awesome I appreciate it I love to get to the point where I'm not making videos in my shed where it's hot and um, I can actually do things a little bit more professional with a computer and things like that which I do not have yet but let's just jump right into it so what's going on is we have some energy in the Gulf of Mexico that's going to try, it's going to have a brief opportunity today um, and this evening to go into a depression before it makes landfall, uh, whatever it is of it, uh, in the panhandle of Florida. And um, it doesn't matter if it does or doesn't, it's not going to really do anything that's like terrible damage, damaging wise, but what it's going to do is, is it's going to cruise over the Panhandle through Georgia into the Carolinas and it's gonna possibly get off the coast of the Carolinas and develop into something. So let's just jump right into it. So this is the GFS and this is for tomorrow evening. Once again guys this is not very uh, detailed. This is just a um, this is just a main operational model the GFS so it's not gonna be like high resolution like the uh, NAM and things like that. So Monday, you see there's just rain all across the southeast. Getting to Tuesday, still rain. Tuesday evening, still rain. Uh, getting to Tuesday night, looks like a good bit of rain. Um, now you start to get into Wednesday, and, and some of the maybe the heavier precipitation starts to shift to the coast. And uh, it looks like it kind of starts to die out as we get deeper into Wednesday, but check it out. If you look at the deeper um, and the yellows and the reds off the coast of North Carolina, that's a signature that something is trying to develop because the energy is getting off the coast and it's trying to develop into something tropical. So um, if, if you take a look at the lines kind of closing in there, that's a signal of a tropical system trying to develop as it moves north and almost rides the coast of uh, the eastern coast and heads on out. And uh, if you see that circle right there, near Virginia Beach, kind of North Carolina, Virginia Beach area, um, that's where a low pressure would be. So uh, here, here's a, here's kind of a more broader look, the eastern seaboard. And it doesn't look like much, but it's something's there. There's some energy here. So we're gonna go to the latest Euro, which came out about an hour ago. And check it out, I have a, a circle going around the low pressure. Uh, the Euro is really on board with this too. Uh, right off the coast of South Carolina, and this is uh, midday Wednesday or so, Wednesday morning, and it's showing the energy that was in the Gulf kind of goes off and um, it's off the coast of the Carolinas and possibly develops into a tropical depression. And, um, you know, and check it out the National Hurricane Season, uh, I'm sorry, the National Hurricane Center has a 40% chance of development somewhere along. And, 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 and that's what I'm talking about here. If, if you look right here, it shows the path of it, going across the panel, Florida, then uh, something that develops right off the coast of the Carolinas. Now, there's nothing that I don't think we need to worry about at all. But to me, it's just a telltale sign that things are, I think are gonna strat gradually start to heat up as. Um, as we anticipate what would be probably be an active hurricane season. Um, what this will do to our weather is, I don't even think it'll really increase winds at all, unless you're in the immediate coastal areas of the Carolinas. But what I think it really could do is, um, and, and you know, let's just take a, take a look at the winds right here. Um, this is uh, Tuesday evening, and check it out. Uh, even over our state, South Carolina, barely hardly any air movement at all, um, which is something I want to talk about, which is probably not a good thing. And I'll get more into that here later in the video. But you kind of get into Wednesday, and I have that circled area right there where 
uh, the, Euro, the Euro model wants to have a low popping off and maybe to start developing to a tropical depression. Now you see the higher winds up to 10, 20, 25, 30 miles per hour on the kind of the southwestern, uh, southeastern part of the low. Uh, makes you think that something's starting to develop as it as we get into Thursday, um, things like that. So. The, the big thing that this is going to cause, along with um, a, a kind of stalled out front that's not going to help things, is I think we got a big potential for uh, flooding rain as we uh, begin to get into tomorrow. And, uh, you know, it's not, it, 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 it can become an isolated flooding type threat where maybe one town gets five, six inches of rain this week and another town maybe gets an inch or two. Just depends on how it happens and here's one thing I want to say there's gonna be little to no steering currents with this uh, moisture some days and what what I mean by that is storms are just gonna kinda of pop up and just dump a torrential amount of rainfall on um, certain areas and uh, dump one two inches of rain maybe in a couple hours and we have to watch out for scenarios like this especially as we look into days like Tuesday and maybe Wednesday um, where it looks like the main meat of this system is going to be over us and so let's just check it let's take a look at rainfall totals and uh this is for the southeast of as a whole uh for gfs you look at that one two three inches of rain and check it out it's the coastal areas that it's the eastern parts of the state that looks like it's more susceptible to more rain here but it doesn't look that bad no it does not but here's the thing it's going to rain more than this especially in isolated areas are going to get four or five inches of rain i'm telling y'all I, I can almost guarantee it um european is very very close to gfs same thing uh it favors the eastern parts of the state for more rain as that coastal system with that low pressure if you will uh starts to scoot south of us and throw moisture into the area uh closer look gfs uh you know just and this is and this is the Saturday guys, but but all these maps I've been showing you, this is through Saturday. So uh you get the point, European model is gonna be a very rainy, rainy week. Uh I think flooding is going to develop into a potential threat here. And uh one thing I want to talk about, um this is the measure of water, if you will, in the atmosphere. Um it, measure of water precipitation. So basically, this is showing how much rain can fall in a downpour. Uh, you know, in a nutshell, how hard it can rain, how much rain can fall in an individual storm. Is it a, you know, a high precipitation shower storm? Is it a low precipitation shower storm? Um, this is for tomorrow evening. Check it out. You start to get values over two inches. When you start to get values at two inches, that means it's it's gonna rain like crazy under storms. I mean, it's gonna be like tropical air mass kind of rain. It is going to pour under the smallest downpours on radar, but it is just gonna unload um, in person, you know? So you get in there and, and pretty much values over two inches cover the majority of the state. And in down there in the southern parts of the state, almost a 2.5 inches of uh, uh, precipitation values. And I know that's kind of hard to, to understand when I say precipitation values. But just understand that if anybody in this red here, um, when you get under a storm, it's going to rain harder than your average storm. I mean, that, there's just going to be so much moisture in the atmosphere and this uh, tropical, uh, this low pressure is not going to help things. So the last thing I kind of want to talk about here is um, temp anomalies. And um, so this is Monday evening. Check it out. Temperatures well below average for most of the state, five to 10 degrees below average. You get into Tuesday, I mean, good gracious, you got 10 to 15 degrees below average. This is for high temperatures. I, I did it at high temperatures because I figured, you know, that's the most important, hottest part of the day. And uh, Wednesday, still below average. Thursday, as the system kind of gets off the coast and starts to develop then, it starts to warm back up. But here, check out the high temperatures for Tuesday, 77 degrees for Columbia you know just mid mid to upper 70s don't think 
for one second, that is going to be a crisp fall like 77 degrees. That is, it is still going to be very, very humid. Dew points will be in the low to mid 70s. So yeah, it'll be 77 degrees and raining uh, or just cloudy or whatever it may be doing. It might be in the 70s, sure, but it is going to be humid. It's still gonna feel tropical outside. Just the air temperature is not gonna be 95 degrees like it is out, out there right now in spots. So long story short, I don't think this is anything to really worry about. Do I think this is a sign of things to come? Maybe. One thing I can tell you for sure is we're getting deeper into hurricane season and you need to be more prepared and you need to get prepared because it has been a trend the last several years that we've had some kind of threat, whether it come in from the Panhandle of Florida, whether it scrape our coast, whether it be in a form of just a wheat tropical storm kind of not do a whole lot, there's always a threat. And I really don't, I, I just don't think this year is gonna be any different. I, I think that we're gonna have a big threat and it's coming. And um, so <clears throat> that's that. Uh, I don't think this is gonna be any kind of huge deal. The biggest deal will be flooding. I, I think that depending on where the heavy, heavier downpour set up, um, I meant to show you all the NAM, but I just won't get into that. But the NAM really shows it's starting to heat up tomorrow with waves of heavy rain and storms. Don't think there's a severe storm threat. This is more of a, I've explained this before, you got stronger severe storms, you got heavy thunderstorms. Now, this is kind of not a legit term, but a heavy thunderstorm is a storm that, yeah, might pack a punch, but its main threat is heavy, heavy, heavy rain. And I think that's going to be the main story this week. So that's all I got. Um, tropical depression I really think will form off the coast of the Carolinas I don't think it'll even move inland it'll just kind of scrape the coast but um, I think that it is going to form so that's all I got thank y'all for watching and I'll keep y'all updated on what will be an active weather week God bless y'all